Hey guys, it's Kim here. Bit of a different video today. Um, just a question that I commonly get asked. But before I get into that, I just want to do a very, very quick channel update. Another channel update, I know. Um, but yeah, but it's it's all good. It's just a matter of uh, I'm going to be flooding your subscriptions feed with videos this week. Well, hopefully I will be anyway. Um, because I'm actually off um, basically my workplace. I, I only work part-time. Um, but the workplace, my workplace is having a big refurbishment, so they're actually closed for just under two weeks, and I have got all of that time off, so that is absolutely fantastic. I think it works out at about 11 days, so yeah, it's, oh my god, it's absolute heaven, guys, um, and I'm really, really looking forward to this week off. Um, I worked yesterday, and I'm absolutely shattered today, but I'm going to get you guys a video done. Also thinking about doing a couple of vlogs as well, um, you know, and just getting different types of videos on my channel. So yeah, let's get into this video now. Basically, as you can see um, right here, I'm actually about to edit one of my videos for you guys. So it's, you, you might think that's a bit weird. So yeah, this is a video of me editing a video for you guys. But no, the reason behind it is I want to show you guys how I edit my videos, what I use, um, and... You know, because basically, it's a, it's a common question that I get asked quite a lot, like, um, you know, what sort of video editing software do you use, and, you know, how do you edit, and, you know, I suppose it's a bit of a tutorial as well for any of you guys that have got the Roxio GameCap HD Pro, and have the Roxio software. Um, this software is so easy to use, I'm not going to lie. I mean, it, it has its faults in terms of not being able to do... Um, live commentary but i use instead what i do is i'm going to show you guys here this here sound recorder it was came with my laptop um so i use that instead and i just basically make sure that i press start at the same time and yeah that's that's how i you know get the live commentary done um and yeah so basically that's how how i do that and um you know other than that though the software is really good i mean the other faults about roxio are it's well known for the glitches um you do get occasionally get glitches and i've seen other youtubers that use roxio um also say this as well and when i very first started out um on youtube somebody in the comments um actually because i was asking you know am i doing something wrong i showed everybody my setup and everything and um somebody in the comments put no you're not doing anything wrong roxio is just purely well known for um glitches that's why it's cheap that's why it's a cheap capture card you know it's one of the cheapest ones on the market yeah it's you know it's really good you know um and yeah i will be getting an upgrade i really will i, pr I did promise you guys that this year and it will happen this year because i'm gonna get a new laptop and a new capture card as well um just so that i can improve i'm thinking about actually using a desktop rather than getting a laptop again because um you know obviously desktops are more powerful and can handle more speed so yeah um this is the roxio software i'm actually editing part 37 of my gta v next gen playthrough so this is interesting for you guys what i always do is just so i know what i meant well of course i know what i'm editing but know what episode it is i make sure i put that there uh so yeah it's gta v next gen playthrough part 37 which is what i call all of my gta videos obviously not part 37 if it's a later part or an earlier part um, and then I always put production at the end because it just helps me because I know then that that video isn't complete. If it's called production, then that isn't complete. I'm still in process of completing it. Um, but if it's called, obviously, if it's got a proper title like my uh, GTA V Next Gen playthroughs do, um, then I know that that it's complete and it's ready to upload. It's just for me, basically. Um, so, yeah, straight away, we're going to go to add photo or video. And you're going to see all of the stuff that I've got recorded for you guys. Look at all of that juicy stuff there. Um, so first of all, this is my new... I've got my old, my very first intro there. I know it's all black at the moment, you can't see it. Um, but yeah, that was my very first um, YouTube intro. And I made that, you know, in... It took me ages to make that one. But then I made this better one. And it, oh, it's great. Uh, I mean... I don't want to say that about my own work, but it's so much better than the first one. Um, but yeah, you know, I think I did an alright job with the first one, considering it was my first ever attempt. Um, and then I just started messing about with um, 
the software that I used, which was part of it was the Roxio software, actually. I used various programs for that. Uh, I used, like, an Adobe one, but I can't remember what it was called. I actually did that intro on my auntie's PC because she's got a fantastic computer. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I've just inserted my intro, so that's there, that's here. And then when you go to insert another, you know, video or if it's a photo you're inserting, um, you press, you know, you can insert it before that panel there. So that would put it in front um, or after the current panel. You can insert it as an overlay or you can replace the panel or insert it as an internal overlay. So basically, you know, when you do the face cam, that's the one you press. So if this, you know, if this here was my FIFA video, because that's usually the videos that I do face cam on. So if this, this here was a FIFA video um, and I was... Up, I was um, inserting my, my face cam then I would put this and then you drag it into the corner so yeah we're going to insert after current panel because that's what we want and here we go and I'm just going to get you guys my um, commentary and yeah I just insert it as, as background audio basically GTA 37 look at how well organised I am though look at how well organised I am Look at all that. It's so good. I'm just, I'm just really organised. Yeah. So then, obviously, if you're adding music, you can. There is a music track for that, um, and that would be just throughout the whole video. Um, you know, that would overlay this. What the arrows on now? My intro. Uh, but you can change that. You can, you can change that. Um, you can also have a sound effect track as well. Um, which obviously if it was a sound effect you'd put it on there um, but I'm going to insert this on the add on internal music track of the selected panel so this, the GTA 37 there is my selected panel because you can see the slight yellow or gold outline to it at the top can't you and that means that is the selected panel also you can see it on the screen so that is the selected panel so that then what this does is I'll show you guys there, I've got, I know it's classed as music, but still, it works. So if any of you, wow, there's really bad wind outside, I don't know if you guys heard that. Um, but yeah, basically, if, if any of you guys are stuck on Roxio, because I know it's a bit of a pain in the backside that you can't um, upload, that you can't record live commentary with the software, um if you guys were wondering how to do it you can you can use sound record it was a program called audacity which i believe is free um so yeah search for that download that and that is pretty much the same very easy to use i'll show you what sound recorder is Ooh, duh, 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 there we go simple you start recording you can see the green bar going up as i'm speaking because it's, it's picked up that i'm using a microphone um, on my headset and yeah you press start recording then you press stop and it just saves it like that straight away you can you can uh, name it sorry and save it to where you want to save it and then it just saves wherever so yeah sound recorder very easy to use very very simple and easy to use um, and yeah so basically this comes up and this is just showing all the internal tracks of this of this cap um, what's it called yeah of this like uh, caption yeah I think I don't, I don't even know yeah but obviously you know I'm not the brightest spark ever so the fact that I can edit you know use my videos and and edit my videos on this then pretty much anybody else can um and yeah I don't want to give too much away so I'm not gonna edit um the full video here I'm gonna stop it there um but I hope you guys enjoy this video I hope you guys have learned something from this video what I will very, 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 very quickly show you is just the different ways. You can have the timeline, which is just this, and I prefer this. Easy to go off. Or you can go for storyline, which I don't quite... Nah, it's not for me that one isn't. I use the timeline. Then you got this here, so you can delete the selected item. Oh, we'll just go back so you can still see my intro there. Uh, you've got the trim, where you can just set like a start point and an end point. Uh, and then you've got the split item, so, you know, you're playing for a bit, and you want to cut a bit out, then you, you'd use that. Um, background audio again, uh, you got your transitions. You can choose, like, one transition if you know, like, you know when you're splitting it and if you wanted, wanted like, a, a swipe screen, 
uh, transition, then you can set that as your transition, the one that you you almost use. You can record your narration. Now I do use this if I don't record live commentary. I always use the narration there. Um, and let's just we'll have a very quick look at that there. Um, so that is just currently recording the narration for this uh, for the GTA video, not the intro, which is good, but. The way to do that is make sure that you're selected on the point where you want to start your narration from. If you are not selected on the point where you want to start the narration from, then I can just... Yeah, hey guys, it's Kim here and welcome back to GTA where, where we are currently... That's not ideal, but yeah, say if you wanted to start it, in uh, part um, 37 of this play. I'm talking over myself, and that's awful. But yeah, if you want to start it like 16 seconds in for some reason, um, then you can start it there and, and re you can record a bit. Um, over the top and then say if you wanted once you'd finished recording one bit say if you didn't need to do any commentary until later on um, as soon as you press stop on the record it saves down there and you can delete it as well if you want to and redo it um, and that's really helpful so say like I've just recorded like to to there and then I don't want to give too much away in this video but say you wanted to do that and then you wanted to do a quick outro at the end as well you wanted to record so you could do that then and then obviously press stop at the end or once the once your video comes to an end it will just stop the commentary automatically anyway like so that's really good how it does that for you so yeah you know it's very easy to use software and you know it, it is recommended um if you know obviously you don't want to spend the money on the likes of an elgato and stuff then, you know, I would recommend the, Ro the Roxio. I do slate it sometimes in my videos, but you know what? I, t I shouldn't really, because it gets the job done at the end of the day, you know? Um, and, yeah, it, for how much it cost me, I, I can't fault it, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed this video. I am actually going to go now and get this video edited for you guys. So, yeah, look out for this video and know that I, should, I gave you guys a bit of an insider on this video. Uh, have a great time and I'll be back very soon with